Okay. All right. Linear pairs. Um, I want you to look at this word, linear pair. What do you notice are the first four letters in linear? Line. Line. So a linear pair, and guys, does everybody know what a pair is? Yes. It's two things, right? So a linear pair is two angles that form a line. So basically, that is a linear pair, right? So this angle and this angle form a straight line together, and they add up to what? 180. 180. So linear pairs add to 180. Now there's a special word that we use when things add to 180. Does anybody know this word? It's an important word to know. It is this word. S-U-P-P-L-E-M-E-N-T-A-R-Y. Say it with me. Supplementary. Supplementary means they add to 180. So linear pairs, angles that are next to each other, add to 180. So for instance, if this angle was, say, 40 degrees, what would this angle be? 140. Because, of course, together, they have to add up to 180. Okay? So that's a linear pair. That's the first simple one. Another one you may have already noticed is this one. It's called vertical angles. Vertical angles are angles that are across from each other. And if you think about it, if these two are a linear pair, right, then they have to add up to 180. And if these two are a linear pair, they also have to add up to 180, which means whatever this one is, this one has to be the same. Let me prove it to you. Say this one was 50, what would this one be? 130. And if this one's 130, what does this one have to be? 50. So as you can see, these two have to be congruent. That's how linear pair, or vertical angles work. The ones that are across from each other are congruent. What would be the measure of this angle? 130. Which means it's the same as this one. Does that make sense? Let's do another example. I'm going to give you um, just this one. It's 120. Instead of giving me these, what do you think this one will be? 120 because they are vertical angles. And of course, vertical angles are congruent. Congruent just means they have the same measure. And here's the symbol for congruent. So this angle and this angle have to add up, or have to be congruent. And of course, what do you think this one will be? 60, of course. And this one? 60. So between vertical angles and linear pairs, you can solve any angles that are formed by intersecting lines. Um, here's a real simple thing for memory. This is just kind of a little gimmick. Um, if you're wondering what vertical angles are, if you can't remember what they are, Look at this. Get it? Yeah. Uh, Vertical uh, angles. Uh, that's good. Some people get it, yeah? See? Yeah. Yeah. Vertical angles. Ta-da! Okay, so that's the beginning. We'll move on to parallel line theorems in the next video.